these parts here are supposed to be around my heel. Let's try that. Yeah. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we're doing something a little bit different. In today's video, we're gonna be trying out Amazon's most wished for products. I didn't even realize this, but Amazon has a section of their website that is called most wished for. To me, that is super interesting because it means that these products in particular have made it unanimously to a lot of people's wish list. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing them out. I'm gonna be seeing what the hype is about. Why are all these people choosing the same products to put in their wish lists. Now this video idea is not my own. I actually saw this on the Rach Loves YouTube channel. I love her videos so much. I'll link her channel down below so make sure you guys go follow her. But I just thought it was a really cool video idea so I thought I would do my own version. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see what kind of products have made it to the top of people's wish lists, then without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the way that Amazon works is that you can view these Amazon most wished for products by categories. So you can pretty much select any category that already exists on Amazon and each one of those will have its own most wished for kind of list. So of course, to start out, I wanted to see what was most wished for in the clothing category. Now I was really tempted to go for number six. Those socks are so freaking cute for winter, but I thought it's only right to go with number one because that is the most wished for product. It is this adorable Disney stitch kind of like hoodie. It's one of those like snooties which I already own and I love. Because these are quite oversized, I'm thinking maybe I'll give this one to my fiance, Matt, because he's been one to one for a while. I have to say, I was quite surprised that a Lilo and Stitch one made it to the top of the list rather than like a generic gray one or something. I mean, this is very specific. I feel like not many people are like super massive fans of Stitch. So this is a little bit strange, but here we are. Oh wow, this is cute. Personally, I love Stitch. I used to have every everything stitch. I was just such a big fan when I was younger. So this is bringing back memories. I actually feel like I had a stitch onesie at one point, which was really cute. Anyway, in terms of snooties, this is a little bit on the thin side. The one that I already own is quite a lot thicker, but it is fleece lined around the hood. So that's nice. It's really adorable because it's got a little stitch is hoodie. And then this is what it looks like on the back. It says Ohana means family. How adorable. I feel like this would make so such an amazing Christmas gift for someone, especially a Disney lover. In terms of quality, this is really nice. It's very, very soft. And like I said, it is a little bit on the thin side, but I suppose that doesn't matter too much. I guess let's try this snooty on and see how it looks. All right, guys, it's time to try this snood on. I am so excited because I literally live in things like this. When I'm at home, I do not care what I look like. I'm wearing pajamas half the time. Yay. Here we go. Oh my God, it's so cozy. Okay, I am literally never taking this off. This is adorable. It's like the perfect size. I feel like I could actually tuck my legs up here and like, you know, just watch TV and be all cozy. I love the fact that it's got a pocket like going all through the middle. You can put your snacks in or your phone. The ears on this are just the cherry on top of the cake. It's so adorable. This is what it looks like from the front and the back. I have to say it's actually a really good thickness because you can wear this over your clothes and not be too hot. I can definitely see why this was on so many people's wish list that it made it to the top 10. So I am definitely really liking this. Moving on, I then ventured into another the category which was actually home accessories. I was hoping to find some like really cute homeware or like decor or something like that but the list was actually kind of weird. So on the list number one were these adhesive sticky tiles which I feel like these in particular would be really good for spicing up your place especially if you're renting and you're not really allowed to decorate. These are obviously removable so that is good. I can definitely see why those are top one. So that is really good. I can definitely see why these are number one on this wish list. We then had a cauldron oil burner. I didn't really feel like getting that because I already have a lot of oil burners. Same as all the other products, they didn't really tickle my fancy. But number five really caught my eye on this list. It is this absolutely massive cushion. It's called the Teddy Bear Cuddle Cushion. 
It's extra fluffy with Sherpa fleece and it's filled with like little beans inside. The second I laid my eyes on it, I was like, yep, I need to get this. I can totally see why this would be on the most wished for kind of products because it's so cozy and I feel like so many people love being cozy in bed. So here we have the box for it and it is absolutely massive, but it actually doesn't weigh an awful lot. So I guess we'll see what it's like. It is gorgeous. Oh my God, you guys. I love this color so much. It also came in gray, but I went for the pink. Oh my actual god <gasps> This is so good. Oh my god guys look at this thing I feel like this will be perfect for like chilling in your bed when you're watching movies But you want to be sat up. It's perfect for just like working from bed or I don't know, even reading. Especially if you don't have a comfortable headboard on your bed, this will be a godsend. It is so fluffy, it's so comfortable. I literally just wanna put this on my bed or on my sofa and try it out right away. All right, we're gonna be testing this out now. I am really excited. I just thought I would test it out on the sofa because I always have way too many pillows on the sofa, so this might solve it. Oh my God, I like it. I could get used to this. It's actually really, really comfortable. It is quite like dense. Whatever is in here, the little balls, it's making it quite like compact, but I feel like that's good because it's giving you like enough to be able to sit up properly. This is really good. Wait, what if I lay down? Oh yeah. I like this as well. You've got like a little armrest. I must say, if this is on your wish list, you guys have to get it. It is definitely worth the money. It's just so cozy and I am 100% gonna be watching a movie with this tonight. Now the next category we're gonna be diving into is actually jewelry. I thought this would be a really fun category to go into because I feel like jewelry is quite a personal thing for a lot of people. So I really was wondering what would be on this list. I was actually very shocked and surprised when I saw this list for jewelry. It was actually quite random. I mean, number one, we have a skeleton hand as a jewelry organizer. For number two, we have like a pyramid of a moonstone or something. We then have a rhinestone crown. We have a set of 20 earrings, which were quite random. I mean, I don't really know who is adding these to their most wished for, but because number one, it was just so random and unexpected, I just had to get it. This is how it came, literally just in this box. So let's crack it open and see what it's like. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is so creepy. Can you adjust the fingers? Like they're so flimsy. Look at that. This finger is like completely just pointing the wrong way. This is actually kind of creepy. Why are they like that? I mean, this is very concerning. The angle that these fingers go to are very concerning. Like they're supposed to be like straight, but they all point like in one direction. <laughs> Anyways, this is the hand. It is black and it's got all these little like phalange joints. It also has a nice wooden base where you can store your earrings, but obviously the fingers are like for the rings and for the necklaces. I just feel like this is such a random item to be on the top of the jewelry wish list, but it is what it is. I guess let's put some rings on this and see what it will look like on my vanity. All right guys, so here is the hand up close. I always have so much jewelry on my vanity desk that I have nowhere to put. So I feel like maybe this is quite useful. It doesn't take up too much space. So I'm just gonna be putting a couple of my rings on the little creepy fingers. And as you guys can see now, they just completely point in the wrong direction. I feel like this little hand is probably best to store rings on. It's actually quite handy, but obviously when you wanna to get to like the bottom ring on one finger, you have to take all of them off at a time. I feel like it's also quite good for like dangling necklaces or bracelets without them tangling. So yeah, that is how I style my little creepy skeleton hand. Okay, so moving on to the next category. The next one I went into, was shoes and bags. Again, I didn't really know what to expect for this one. I thought maybe you'd get like Uggs or something as they are quite trending right now. However, there was mostly like granddad kind of slippers and Crocs. Crocs were number one most wished for, which I just 
I just don't, I don't really understand the hype with Crocs. This is definitely one of those very unpopular opinions because I feel like everyone and their mum and their granddads and just every family member owns a pair of Crocs by now. And so for the sake of this video, I have purchased my very first pair of Crocs. And yes, I went for the most obnoxious color I possibly could. What do you guys wear Crocs for? Let me know because to me, they've always just looked like gardening shoes. Like I just don't know where I would wear these. I would never wear them out to like the supermarket. I wouldn't even wear them around the house because they're just so like rubbery. Comment down below right now, what do you guys wear Crocs for if you own any? I just could never get on board with these. I don't know what it is. I mean, visually, these offend me. Maybe they'll grow on me after trying them on. So I guess let's try on some Crocs for the very first time and see if they're actually comfortable. Okay, it is time to try on the Crocs. Let's do it. I literally have never tried these on. Oh wow, they feel very like spiky. I don't know if I like that. Do I like that? <laughs> they make me look like a little, I don't know, garden gnome, I swear. I'm just looking at my feet and I literally feel like a kid. Also, are these parts here supposed to be around my heel? Let's try that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was supposed to be around the heel. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that feels better. I feel like now they won't fall off. Okay, I definitely need to size up because these make my feet look like a kid's feet. I just, I just could not get on board with these. I mean, they're definitely comfortable. I don't know why, but these shoes are not made for me. I just cannot get over how ugly they are. I swear in like 2015, we were all on the same page. Everyone would make jokes about how hideous Crocs are. And all of a sudden, fast forward to now, they're like the trendiest shoe going. What happened? I genuinely don't know. Someone tell me in the comments, why are people all about these now? I don't really like how they press into my feet, like all the little spiky things in the sole. That is a no, so I sadly have to confirm. I am still not into Crocs. I'm sorry, guys. Now moving on to the next category. The next one I went into was women's accessories. Again, I didn't really know what to expect. I thought maybe some handbags or I don't know, like scarves or something. And to be honest, I wasn't too far off because this was the top list. First up, we had those thermals, fingerless gloves. For number two, we then had a very colorful like scarf, which Definitely is not a bit of me. A lot of the items on there were just quite mundane and a little bit boring. However, number seven really caught my eye because it had like everything in one set. It's got the hat, it's got the like face cover, I think. It's got gloves, socks, and also earmuffs. The color scheme was just perfect because it's literally what I love. So I just had to try this out. With winter coming up, I feel like this will be really, really amazing. So let's see what this is all about. Why have people added this to their wish list. Okay, here we go. Here is everything in the set. This was about 20 pounds. So first up, we have a little pair of socks, which look like not a lot, to be honest. However, the lining of them is really nice. They're like almost fleece lined, but the socks are really thin. It says something about frostbite. So maybe these socks like combat frostbite. So that's really cool. We then have a pair of gloves, which by the looks of it have like a different tip on the thumb and the index finger. So I'm pretty sure you can use these with your phone. They look quite nice and simple, so I'm liking those. We then have this thing, which I'm pretty sure is like a neck cover slash face warmer. With that is a matching hat, which I just love. I love the look of this. In fact, let's try it on right now. Ooh, it's so cozy. I love it. It's really soft on the inside. It's like fleece lined. I'm really liking this. And look at the little pom-pom. And then lastly, we have the earmuffs, which look like this. Oh, they're so adorable. They actually fit pretty well. Sometimes this part here, when it's not adjustable, it fits really weird, but these are perfect and they're so cute. Okay, I can definitely see why this whole set was on the most wished for list for accessories. It's just such a nice set, really good quality too, and you get so many pieces that you'd need. So I am really, really liking this. And now moving on to the last category that I purchased from, it was actually makeup. I feel like it was only right to do makeup. I was actually very happy to find Revolution on the most wished for palette section. I don't think I've ever actually used this particular palette. So I got it from Amazon and this is what it looks like. The packaging is absolutely stunning. And as we all know, Revolution is just such an affordable makeup brand. No. Oh no. One of the shadows is completely shattered. Oh no. It must 
must have happened in the shipping process. That is so annoying. Oh no, I am absolutely distraught because I was really looking forward to trying this palette. I mean, a lot of all the other shades are perfectly fine, but it's just that one shimmer shade that has gone everywhere. As you guys can see though, it is such a stunning palette. Let me give you a little swatch of some of the shades. I mean, how stunning are those shimmer shades? This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just so gutted that it's smashed. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to send this back to Amazon and hopefully they can send a replacement. That is so annoying. But regardless, I was really happy to see one of my favorite brands that I work with all the time on all my collaborations being on that top list. So I'm very proud. Anyways, that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what the most wished for products are on Amazon. We got to see together whether these products are worth the hype or not. I feel like a lot of the products that we tested out in this video are rightfully on that most wished for list on Amazon. I feel like the people that have these items on their wish list are definitely not going to be disappointed when they finally receive them. Let me know which one of these products was your favorite and also let me know in the comments what is the one product that you have on your wish list on Amazon right now. I'm literally on the lookout for things from Amazon for like gifts because my parents and everyone is asking like what do you want for Christmas and I still don't really know. So definitely give me some ideas in the comments below. Anyways thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always. I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah!